The warranty on the machine specifies that it will be replaced at age failure or four, whichever occurs first. The machine's age at failure X has this density function. Let Y be the age of the machine at the time of replacement. So, and if we calculate the variance of Y. So Y will be the minimum of X in four because um, X is the failure time. So if let's say it fails at two years, then it will be replaced at two. So two is the minimum uh, of two and four. And it definitely is replaced at four. So if its age crosses four, it will be replaced at four then. So that's why y will be the minimum of x and 4, which means y will be equal to x when x is less than or equal to 4, and y will be equal to 4 when x is bigger than 4. So to find the variance, you know you need the expected value of y and expected value of y squared. So e of y is uh, the integral of y fx. So again, and normally it should be integral of y f y, but look at y, y will be changed in terms of x. So this is fine. So from the, uh, the definition of y breaks at x equals four, so that's how we'll break the integral. So negative infinity to four, in this part y is equal to x, we're here, yeah? that's the negative infinity to four part. And then in four to infinity, well, we are here, so in that part, y is equal to four. So it gets replaced with four. And now, since x is only defined for zero to five, so negative infinity to four effectively means zero to four, because there is nothing before zero. And then fx is one over five. And the four to infinity is effectively four to five because it finishes at five. <clears throat> So the integral of this first one is x squared by 10, and the second one is 4x by 5, and eventually we get 2.4 for e of y. And now e of y squared is the same thing. We have y squared against fx, and um, uh, when x is between negatives, so the break will again happen according to how this y definition is breaking. So negative infinity of 4, y is x, so y squared will be x squared. And in the four to infinity part, y was four, and so y squared will be four squared. So just you're squaring this part and the fx remains the same. So x squared and four squared is 16, fx is still one over five. And the integral of this is x cubed by 15, and this is 16x by five, and eventually we get one twelve by five. So variance of y will be e of y squared minus e y whole square. E y squared is one twelve by 15, and e y we already calculated was 2.4, so minus 2.4 whole square, so that's 1.7, which is choice C.